assalamu alaikum friends uh, in this video we shall see uh, a feature which is available in uh, accounting entries interface in sap financials which is uh, fp50 also fp60 fp70 so we can use this feature in all these t codes but we shall see how to use this feature in fp50 and this is the reference uh, posting with reference so first of all what is posting with reference is posting with reference is actually uh, posting an accounting document by copying the data from another accounting document another accounting entry which has already been posted earlier so that's why we we use the word reference as a previous accounting entry so we we provide to the system uh, a document number an accounting entry number and system copies certain data from that document to the current document on the screen and if you want to change anything we can change anything and then we can post or park it so the fundamental purpose of uh, posting with reference is to ease the document entry. So if there is a big document which has maybe say nine debits and 11 credits, so rather than typing all debits and credits again, one of the solution which SAP provides is posting with reference. And of course there are other solutions as well. So we shall see how to do this. So we are here in FB50, right? So this is the interface. I am using web GUI. So we go here and uh, we go to posting with reference, right? So over here, the system uh, pops up with a window which asks you for a document number, the reference document number which you want to copy data from, the relevant company code and the relevant fiscal year. And then there are certain options. So for example, create inverse posting. So you can also actually do the inverse posting from the source document. So if the source document is say, something debit A debit and B credit, then you can actually do just the opposite, B debit and A credit. Mm -hmm. Enter GL account items. It means the system will copy the GL account items. Do not propose amounts. So by default, the system will also, once you check this, system will also propose the amounts, copy the amounts from the, that document. But if you want to enter amounts manually, uh, you can just uh, check this box. Or even if you don't check this box, you can you can edit the amounts in, in eventually in the main interface. So if there are any calculations for the baseline date or credit period or things like that, then they have to, if they want to be, if they have to be recalculated, then do. Display line items, if you want only to display, copy text. So this is the narrations which you want to copy. So there are three levels of narrations. So you will uh, copy all these narrations. Transfer functional area, right? If the functional area is there in the original document, uh, recalculate the local currency amount and copy se segment and partner segment. So these are some of the options. So I just have, entered uh, these two options so that the system copies the entire document and I gave the document number the corresponding company code and the fiscal year and that, that let me press enter so well the system has actually uh, uh, copied the uh, document date and the posting date right so the system has also cop copied the dates as well so I, I should change the dates right so let me change the date for example so I want it to be posted in uh, it's not first uh, tenth of uh, first of this uh, October. I want to post in first of December, and my document date say is actually thirtieth of November, right? So there is another video on my uh, regarding the difference between the document date, posting date, entry date, which you can see uh, uh, my channel, which you can watch on my channel. So posting period system automatically will will correct. I would don't have need to correct it. There are no other things. If there had been any document text in that document, the system would have copied. But there is no document text over here. There there is no reference over there in the main document. Okay. So over here now I will enter so that the system accepts this data. I will press enter. So I pressed enter and the system takes me to a new window. Oh, so this window is a little bit different from what we used to do in FB50 usually because the system is actually copying data from another document. So you can see uh, over here that the system has corrected the posting period. It is 12 now and uh, th these are the other header details. And also uh, you can see this is the line item number one. So this is the account number bank uh, with some numbers has been credited. So this is line item number one. Total debits are 550, total credits are 550. So the document has two line items. And if I just keep pressing enter, I will switch between the two line items. So you see, this is the second line item with posting key 40. So, and uh, uh, this is a debit entry and uh, this is the account number, inventory, uh, operating inventories or operating uh, supplies or things like that. So this is debit, right? Other line item is credit. I again press enter. So I will keep switching between the, these two line items, right? And uh, if I want to enter any further line item, I can enter from here. 
so since the interface is now changed so we also need posting key so the two posting keys allowed over here are 40 and 50 because we are debiting and creating the general ledger account so posting is also an interesting uh, feature in sap which controls the debits and credits of the types of accounts uh, which i have covered in another video you can watch uh, so over there now i want just to simulate so let's uh, go to document simulate general ledger so this is how the entry will appear eventually after posting so now i want to post it simply so i go back or i simply can save or i go back and then i post so now i'm posting it so as soon as i posted it i got the message uh, this document was posted in company code us00 so now of course in fb03 i can go and i can see this document that uh, this document has already been posted also you can watch this document right from here uh, document dis display so the immediately preceding document would be displayed right so this is this is the document which we just posted one more thing that you have to keep in mind that now uh, uh, let's come again so let's uh, display if you it, if you go to the document header details over here you will see that the corresponding t code is not fb50 it is fbr2 because we have used the reference posting uh, document so the system actually changed the corresponding t code uh, and we also noticed that the interface was a bit different but this is also uh, the the t code for the document type sa is a gl account document you cannot post any vendor document from from uh, in this way in fb50 or any customer document in fb50 or any asset document in fb50 you already know so if you want to post these document with reference you have to go to corresponding t code fb70 fb60 or th things like that and then call the reference document from there the correct reference document number and then you can post with reference so that's it i hope uh, uh, this video will uh, benefit uh, prove useful thank you